365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. No fears. Written by Vanessa Pizzuto. Welcome and happy Sabbath to you. Today is July 16th, 2022. Thank you for joining us for today's devotional reading titled, He is Not Offended. But first, let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your faithfulness towards us. Because you walk with us in each moment of our lives, guiding, protecting, and inspire us. Speak to us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's scripture reading is found in Psalm 147, verse 3, and it says, He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. A friend of mine sent me a package for my birthday. She must have paid a fortune to send it by international mail. When I saw the huge box and recognized my friend's handwriting, I was very excited. What could she have sent me? I waited impatiently until my birthday to open it, and then I was totally disappointed. Although it was a beautiful gesture, her gift was not. I remember having thought, she spent so much to send me this? When my friend sent me a message asking if I had liked the gift, I did not know what to say. I did not want to be rude, but I wanted to be honest. Finally, I replied by saying it was very generous of her to have gone to so much trouble to send me a gift. Sometimes we think God will be offended if we tell him how disappointed we are in a situation. Lamenting, the art of expressing disappointment, is a language we have forgotten how to speak. Although the Bible has countless examples, we tend to overlook them. It seems like in order to be good Christians, we should always be smiling and singing songs of gratitude. What do we do with disappointments? We bury them in the closet, like I did with the gift pretending they no longer exist. But ignoring them does not make them disappear. Whatever we don't air out rots. In her article, You Can Be Honest With God About Your Disappointment, Scottish singer and writer Shayla Walsh says, The enemy loves to torment us in those places. He loves to drag out our garbage and face us with the stench. But when we bring out the whole truth to Jesus, the power of a secret long kept simply vanishes. Jesus knows exactly what is in our hearts. There is no way to hide it. When we cry in his presence, we are not telling him anything new or surprising. We are simply opening our hearts up so that he may comfort us. Bring him all your whys, disappointments, and tears. His ears do not grow tired of hearing, and his shoulders do not grow weary of bearing. The sadness we do not utter becomes knotted up in our vocal cords and robs us of our voice. Bring your whole heart to the altar, not just the socially acceptable parts. God is not offended by your pain. He wants to help you bear it. Let's pray. I don't understand why certain things happen, Lord. It is hard for me to talk about this without feeling guilty, without thinking it makes me a bad Christian. I want to learn to be more authentic with you. Please help me to trust that you love me enough not to be offended. Amen.